Hello, uh, in this video I'm uh, going to explain how to create a user interface to command uh, the robot, to generate movements uh, with the robot, so we could have, or we can have, uh, a set of uh, buttons and sliders and uh, the robot will move according to our uh, user input, okay? This is something similar we saw uh, in, uh, in the case for the LED matrix in which you had some buttons and then you, uh, you could see some expressions. Uh, the idea here is to uh, generate a code uh, to do that and uh, I recommend you to see uh, the previous videos you have about programming in Lua and particularly uh, the API that the Copelisim uh, software uses in order to set, uh, for instance, the velocities or the positions of joints, okay? So let's start by uh, seeing what we have here. I will access to the code uh, that I created and I associated to the robot base here. So if I double click, this is the code. Uh, I generated a set of functions, I'm, I'm about to explain them, but first let's go to the syscall init function, this one here, okay, and uh, let's see what we have, okay. So first thing we have is uh, we get the object handles of the joints, uh, particularly for the wheels and the, and the arms. And then we have uh, a parameter which is the wheel radius, is three centimeters. The maximum speed we want to move, uh, this is something we can uh, modify, and also the max uh, turn uh, speed. Uh, this is the actual speed and the, uh, the actual uh, turn, a turn is expressed in uh, radians per second. And this parameter here is the separation of the wheels with respect to the center of the, of the robot. This is called the wheel basis and it's 5,65 uh, centimeters. Okay, this is something uh, you can measure. And this, uh, this is a variable that we uh, set in order to know if, if our grips, or if our gripper, sorry, it's open or, or close. And the important instruction here to create a user interface is actually that one, sceneUE.create. This is an instruction that uses a plugin um, which is by default uh, added in, uh, in Copelisim to create an user interface based on Qt um, XML syntax, syntax sorry, uh, and this is exactly what we have here. It just basically requires a string. This is just one single string, okay, which has been separated into or broken into several lines using this concatenation uh, here, so you can see it better, okay? So this string basically requires a UE uh, tag, this is uh, a UE tag that it's closed right there at the end. So we open UE and then we close with slash UE, okay? And then it has a set of attributes. Uh, but to the, in order to define uh, how we want this uh, user interface to be. For instance, it has to be enabled so we can interact with it. Um, if it's model, then uh, it will block uh, other, other windows. Uh, then we have a title for the, for the user interface. We can set if it's closable, what kind of layout we want for our, um, uh, uh, let's say, elements that we add in our user interface. In this case, it's a vertical box, so they will be add it vertically, uh, placement relative, and this is the position we want, okay? This is, these are a set of attributes that you can obviously modify, and then we have a set of elements. For instance, here we have a label, that label includes the text linear speed, and then we have a horizontal slider, that has a minimum value of minus 100 and a maximum value of 100, and then we have a callback function. This callback function will be indeed a Lua function that we have in our code that will be called every time there's a change on the value on this slider. And this function here, this is something we can uh, define, it's a user defining function. I call it on speed change. And this function indeed is, as I said before, right there at the top of my code, and it accepts. Uh, basically, this, this is the way it, it has to uh, be defined. It accepts a UE handle, it accepts an identification, and particularly the, the, the thing we are interested in right now, it's here, is uh, on um, which is the new value, okay? So based on this new value, for instance, we have two functions, on speed change and also on turn 
change because there's another slider for, for uh, modifying the angular velocity and if we modify the speed then we update the speed the variable and if we modify the angular velocity then we update the turn variable. Remember that this speed and turn variable were set to zero at the beginning. So whenever I in this slider I call the on speed change or in this other slider here I call the on turn change these variables will be uh, modified okay. Then we have uh, also a set of buttons and um, they also include uh, a text for instance here open close forward backwards left right stop and each of them has also a callback function with the event on click so whenever we click on, on the button we will call a function that we specified here for instance move forward move forward is this function here and this function basically what it what is doing is um, setting the target velocity for the wheels so it's half of the maximum speed divided by the wheel radius because remember that this uh, set joint target velocity requires the velocity argument in radians per second okay so that's why we are doing that um, in both wheels the left and right we are applying the, exactly the same speed so it will move forward we can do the same thing for move backwards but with the negative sign turn left will imply a negative sign on the left and positive on the right so it will turn left and then turn right the other way around so it's positive on the left negative on the right and stop just basically zero zero okay and the last function I have created or what, what, sorry not the last one but a, a function that I have created is the move function which accepts the linear velocity and an angular velocity this function indeed was called in the uh, callback functions for the sliders once we update the speed we called the move function and this move function is uh, basically a setting the, the target velocities for the wheels but depends on uh, an expression which comes from a, a well-known uh, formulas for kinematics uh, in mobile robotics which is uh, basically that the left wheel speed will be uh, the linear velocity uh, minus uh, the separation of the wheel with respect to the center uh, times uh, the omega which is the angular velocity and uh, for the right wheel it will be the same thing but with a positive sign here okay and then finally we have a special button too which is the open close button which is checkable which means that whenever we uh, click on it it will remain uh, pushed and then we need to click again to uh, uh, let's say uncheck the button okay this button here it's calling the on gripper function which is that one and remember at the beginning that I said okay we need a variable to, to know if, we, if the gripper is open or closed okay so that's the variable so if it's open then we need to close the gripper and then set it to uh, open uh, false because now it's closed and um, otherwise uh, we will need to open the, the gripper and set a gripper open true for the next time we click so we, we know that we have to open it or close and these open and close gripper functions are just simply calling a similar function so instead of set joint target velocity here we are calling set joint target position because these joints were controlled by position and we set in this case the degrees we want to set this joint multiply with this constant here which is basically uh, translated degrees into radians which is required by the function here so for instance in my case I set 30 degrees here on the left minus 30 degrees on the right to be uh, open and uh, to close the gripper I set minus 10 and 10 this is something you can uh, you can modify obviously okay so once you have that let's play with a with a uh, simulation and to see how it works okay this is uh, the interface I have created and then here you have uh, buttons and the sliders and we can click forward we can click backward we can stop we can go for left we can go right or we can just basically modify the speed so it will go faster or even backwards yeah and then also at the same time it's moving 
it will rotate, so it's doing circles, ok? And just to conclude this video, I would like you to uh, take a look to uh, the documentation regarding with uh, how to create user interfaces. You have to access to this, uh, in this case, to this URL here, and there you have all the UE XML syntax that you need with all the attributes and what they, uh, what they mean, and this is something you, you can uh, obviously uh, take a dig loop, uh, look if you want to modify or create different kind of interfaces, ok? Everything is described here, all type of uh, elements and uh, with their attributes, ok? So I recommend you take, to take a look to this. Ok, thank you very much.